What is up, ladies and gentlemen? And today we're going to be taking a look at the Mezco 112 Collective Previews exclusive uh, Professor Zoom figure. Uh, let's just look at the box, a nice yellow box, the Zoom logo, and the old DC Comics logo, which I still get a kick out of and I like so much better than a new one. This is the Zoom symbol and uh, some pictures of the figure. Really awesome. Let's open this up. And they pack these really tight. Kind of hard to get out. Oh man. I suppose that's a good thing, right? Alright. So it's all the same stuff on the sleeve on every box I've been finding. So let's open it up here. Get a little piece of plastic. And here we go. Here he is. Wow. I like the art, man. Same with the Flash figure. I really like the art. It's really done really nice. And uh, here's a look at the figure in the box here. Get a focus on that. There he is in there. All right, we're gonna get him out and then take a good, better look at him. All right, guys, here's a look at all the accessories you get with the figure. Great amount of accessories. Again, I love these Mezco figures because they really do it up with these accessories, and they are awesome. And just like just like with the Flash figure, you get the little whirlwind thing. For his arm, for his hand there. And then you get the awesome lightning bolts, man. I love these with the flash figure, and I'm so glad they put these in with the zoom figure. So awesome. Because, like, then you could have them, like, you can put these on, both of them, put the ones on the flash and the ones on zoom here, and then make them look like they're running after each other in speed force. Fucking awesome. Uh, you get a set of running hands here. See there? Grabby hands. Are really, really trying hard to run hands as I like to call them. And then uh, you get a bag for the accessories, which I like because you can like zoom on there, and then put the stuff you're not using in there. Then of course you get the base, and then this little hook. So if you want to have them do like running out far or something like that, I don't know what you would do with it. They don't fly, so I don't know why they put that in there. But more is better for sure. All right, we'll come back and then we'll have the figure out and we'll take a good look at them. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's a look at Professor Zoom as you get him out of the packaging without any of the other good stuff on him. I gotta say, like, I am loving these Mezco figures, man. They are so great, and at the scale, they just, you know, I know they're a premium figure, but they cannot be beat with the level of detail and, you know, the, the, the cloth outfits and, like, all the accessories you get. I'm telling you, these figures cannot be beat. They are really the best game in town for six inch figures as of right now in my opinion um, we take a better look at him here and then we get to see like we'll start with his head sculpt here and then uh, we'll zoom in here there we go really great head sculpt man and it's not just like a repaint of the flesh it's a different whole head sculpt that looks like Eobard Thon it's got the black eyes, can you see? With the red pupils. I really hope you guys can see that. Really awesome. Lots of detail on the cowl here. Really great. But then I like the suit, although this one seems a tad bit looser than the one that I got on my Flash figure. It's a little bit looser, and then of course there seems to be like I mean, like a little snag here. So I guess you know that that could be seen as a downside, like maybe over time, because this feels like sort of a nylonish sort of uh, material. It could snag after a while, but I don't know. Like it, only time will tell with these figures. I mean, this could could be like a a factory defect, but I mean, if you're really OCD, that that would probably definitely bother you for sure. Um, so the symbols on there really tight really good and just like the flash the belt is sewn on I believe yep you can see the piece of string there or thread there but it's sewn on well and I'm pretty sure they glued it right here too or they sewed it on or something because it's like it's really on there like right there by his butt cheeks and then again this is plastic right here and then this is where the you can see where the outfit starts Really great attention detail. Crotch. <laughs> really good attention to detail. 
Because you can really see the muscle definition with these suits. Especially in the legs, you know, because these guys are speedsters, so. And there's the boots. Those little red Nike shoes. Really awesome, dude. Really great. So as far as articulation goes, these are really great for articulation because you can put these bad boys way up there. Look at that. Really good. Just like that. Bass hips. Good rotation in the wrist there. About as far as you can go up like that. Same with that one. So the head's really good. They move pretty well. Although you don't, you, wouldn't, you don't need to do a flying pose with this, so you don't need the head to go up, you know, really far up, so that's good. Oh, uh, the ab crunch in these are good. See, look at that. Look at his abs. If they would have just pulled a little bit tighter in the suit, look at that. Boom! Six-pack. Boom! Six-pack. <laughs> so I don't know why they didn't do that. Uh, you, can look at, you can see it kind of there. Yeah, so it's loose. I guess this is the issue that I've been hearing about, that some of you guys have been telling me about. The loose suits. Yeah, I guess I finally got one. Uh, so the... That's ab crunch there. Leg kick there. Yeah, this suit's pretty loose, man. Damn. That's kind of a bummer. Going back. There's the leg. So far back you're going. And a good ankle pivot on these, man. Really awesome ankle pivot. Look at that. Good for posing. Alright guys, I'll be back and I'll give you my final verdict on this figure in a sec. Alright guys, here he is out with his little flash arm thingy, whirlwind thingy. <laughs> I don't know what to call it, but uh, uh, yeah, I really like this figure. I think it's awesome. I like I, Again, like I say, I really like these Mezco figures. Um, I gotta say, my only gripe is the... Uh, the suit is a bit loose. This is the first one that I've, I've run into with that issue. Uh, there was someone, I believe, on my Superman video where he said some other reviewer had like a really loose suit. Um, my flat, my regular Flash figure was okay. This is the first one I've had to run into the issue. So I really feel like it's just a fluke. I feel like, you know what I mean? Like it's just a production issue that you might run into. Um, even though it has that issue, I really like it still. I really love this figure, man. It's still awesome. Um... They are definitely giving DC collectibles a run for their money. And in my opinion, I know they did it at a different scale, but they're definitely giving Hot Toys a run for their money, man. Um, I think, you know, for the price point, you know, they're, I know they're a bit steep. This is about 80 bucks on Big Bad Toy Store. Um, I think if you can save your money or, or if you have the money to buy it, I would definitely recommend it. I give it two thumbs up for sure. Um, definitely pick this guy up if you can. Um, Again, another great figure from Mezco, man. I have yet to run across the bad one so far. Um, but I'll be doing a couple more reviews, and we'll see if we <laughs> if we do run across the bad one. Uh, all right, guys, uh, give me a like, and uh, maybe subscribe down there if you, uh, if you like my videos. And uh, I'll be having more uh, reviews coming, and uh, I really appreciate you watching, and uh, have a good day.